Hi there, it's Nicole here today, and I am sharing a couple of elf themed gift tags with the new Neat and Tangled Elves and Their Shelf Stamps and Coordinating Dies. I've also used their classic tag one for the base, and I'm incorporating a couple of other greetings for the back of the tag, and I'll talk more about that when we get to that point. I'm going to start by die cutting my tags. I'm going to die cut the backs of my tags from some red cardstock and the front of the tags from some smooth white cardstock. I love to kind of double up my tags. It makes them much more sturdy. You get a great two-toned effect. And if there's any coloring that bleeds through the paper, it's going to hide that. In this case, there probably won't be much of that, but I still always like to do that. I'm going to take the Tim Holtz bricked stencil and some pumice stone distress ink and I'm using just an ink dauber to apply the ink to my tags to kind of give the background a look of brick. I don't want it to be overpowering but I want some interest added to the background on my tags. This is going to make it look like my elves are sitting on a shelf. There's kind of a double embossed line near the bottom of the tag. It's a little hard to see, but it gives it a little bit of the illusion that maybe they're sitting on a mantle or something like that. Next, I'm going to take my Misty and I'm going to take both of my tags and go ahead and stamp them with greetings from the Elves and Their Shelf stamp set. On one of the tags, I'm going to use I Elfing Love You. I just think that's hysterical. I love it. And then on the other one, I'm going to use Don't Open Until December 25th, which is a nice standard um, holiday greeting, perfect for a gift tag. I'm going to line those both up. I just kind of keep checking to make sure. And once I have those exactly the way I want them, I'm going to ink them both up at the same time and then stamp them right on the tags. The benefit of using the Misty, not only can I stamp them both at once, but I can stamp them one on top of another to really get some nice bold greetings on both tags. Go ahead and put my greetings back. I'm going to take the little, I kind of call it snow image from that stamp set and I am going to stamp it just with a regular traditional block I'm, because I'm going to be moving it around. But I'm going to stamp that little snow with the Delicata Silvery Shimmer ink and I'm just going to do that on both tags. I'm using my elves to kind of gauge exactly where I want to put that. It adds another layer of interest to the background of my tags. I'm going to go ahead and set both of these aside because I'm ready to start stamping the images I need to build the front of my tag. So I've got both the girl and boy images and then this stack of gift presents. I'm going to stamp that twice. I am stamping my images on some Bristol Smooth cardstock so that I can do some Zig Clean Color Real Brush Marker coloring. I'm going to clean these once I get those three stamped and then I'll go ahead and stamp the stack of gifts again. Now I will say I colored the elves first and did not like how I colored them. Um, I wanted to make a few changes so what I ended up doing was stamping them again and coloring them again. So you just kind of disregard the first two colored images that you see there as I'm coloring the stacks of presents. Both stacks of presents are going to be exactly the same. Colored the bows in with some greens. I've got some pinks and aqua and red. I just wanted a nice fun stack of gifts here. I'm using a couple colors or shades per color. Laying down my dark color first and blending with my lighter color. You can see how smooth these zigs work on the Bristol Smooth cardstock. I absolutely love this cardstock. It's the only one I will use for working with these markers because I think you get such fantastic results with it. Then I re-stamped my boy and girl and I'm going to color those in. Again, the colors I'm using are shown across either the top or the bottom of the screen. I listed both the 
marker number and the actual name of the color to make it easy in case anybody is wondering exactly which colors of marker I used. Those are always shown on the screen. I started with the skin tones and then I'm going to work on the hair. Once I have both of those things done, I I feel like I like to do that first most of the time and then it kind of helps me color in the clothing. For whatever reason, I tend to color that way probably 95% of the time. Once that, that hair is done, I'm going to color both outfits the same. So I will show one of the outfits, the steps for it, and then I'm not going to leave my camera on just to color it exactly the same. So just know anything I color for one image, I'm coloring it exactly the same for the other, just like the stack of gift presents. Couple of colors of red. Red is going to be the main color for the outfit. What I didn't like about my first two images is I felt like I needed to leave a little white space and I didn't. I colored everything with a color and that did not work at all. So what I'm going to do here is leave that little white stripe on the brim of the hat. The stockings are going to be green and white as well. But I'll still color in the collar and belt with the green. The little pom-pom is going to be done with the cool gray as well as anything that's white. I'm just going to add a touch of that. And then the tips of the feet I did color in with some dark grays to kind of look like shoes. I don't know if they are really wearing shoes or not, but my elves are. Then I die cut them with the coordinating elves and their shelves dies and I'm going to take a nice strong adhesive and secure these to my tags. So I have the stack of gifts sitting on the ledge and then the cute little elf. Isn't that darling? I think these are so much fun. I absolutely love them. I'm going to do the same thing for the little girl. I think this would be great um, to create a whole set of these and maybe give them as a gift. You could also not create this back tag and just put it on the front of a card. Now this is where I'm incorporating a phrase from Into the Woods, the For You, and then a phrase from Say Yes to Donuts from All of Us and stamping it on the back. I didn't have a to and from stamp from Neat and Tangled, but that didn't stop me. I went and looked through my stamps and I thought these were kind of a clever way to do to and from. So that is why I used those images and I'm going to just go ahead and adhere my tags back to back. And so now they have a back to them that says for you from all of us. And you can definitely write the recipient's name and then your family's names underneath each of those little sections. I'm going to finish my tags with some red and white striped baker's twine. I'm going to thread through some red and white jingle bells and finish with a little white silk ribbon tied between those jingle bells to kind of secure it and give a little bow and add some extra de decoration near the top. I always love to add just a little something extra, something nice and simple. And I love these jingle bells because they're something I wouldn't normally attach to a card because that would be really hard to mail. So gift tags are the perfect opportunity to use some fun dimensional embellishments like jingle bells. Thanks for joining me today for these Elves gift tags showcasing the Neat and Tangled Elves in Their Shelf stamps and dies, as well as other Neat and Tangled dies and stamps. The supplies I've used to create these tags are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more projects showcasing Neat and Tangled stamps and dies that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.